This video covers CDL passenger exam questions for all 50 states. We've organized the questions into 12 groups. We guarantee you'll pass if you watch this video twice and practice with our tests on our website. If you find this video helpful and pass the test, please comment on your state and result. It helps others. Group 1, Hazards and Safety 1. Which of these following statements about hazards is true? A. Car with out-of-state license plates is a hazard because that state may not have inspection laws. B. Movement inside a parked car could mean that a person is about to step out of it. C. If you can see any part of another vehicle, assume that the driver sees you. Correct. Answer. B. Movement inside a parked car could mean that a person is about to step out of it. 2. Which of these statements about seeing ahead is true? A. At highway speed, you should look not more than 1 to 8 one quarter mile ahead. B. Many drivers do not look far enough ahead. C. Good drivers keep their attention on one place for 12 to 15 seconds each time. Correct answer. B. Many drivers do not look far enough ahead. 3. Which of these most affects the amount of traction your bus has? A. The size of the tires. B. The drive wheels. C. The type and condition of the road surface. Correct answer. C. The type and condition of the road surface. 4. It is most dangerous to back up. A to the left, B to the right, C straight back. Correct answer, B to the right, 5. When driving too fast on a banked curve, your bus will A feel a little heavier, B lean toward the inside, C lean toward the outside. Correct answer, C your bus will lean toward the outside. 6. Out of all spaces around your bus, the most important one is A. To the rear, B. On this side, C. To the front. Correct answer. C. To the front. 7. Hazardous conditions can be identified as A. Another driver, B. The condition of the roadway, C. Any condition that may cause your trip to be unsafe. Correct answer. C. Any condition that may cause your trip to be unsafe. 8. You should not let riders stand. A. In front of the standee line. B. Between the wheel wells. C. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Correct answer. A. In front of the standee line. 9. Passive railway crossing. A. The type of crossing on which the driver does not have to stop. B. The type of crossing which does not have any type of traffic control device. C. The type of crossing with no cross buck sign. The correct answer is B the type of crossing which does not have any type of traffic control device. 10. Which of the following cargo can never be carried on the bus? A. Small arms and ammunition labeled ORM. D. B. Irritating materials and tear gas. C. Emergency drug shipments. Correct answer. B. Irritating materials and tear gas. 11. You should adjust all the outside, left and right side convex mirrors to see. A. 200 feet behind the bus. B. The entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus. C. The right and left front tires touching the ground. Correct answer. B. The entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus. 12. Which of the following types of cargo must never be carried on the bus? 
A. Tear gas. B. Emergency drug shipments. C. Emergency hospital supplies. Correct answer. A. Tear gas. 13. You must be alert for road hazards so that A. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. B. You can help impaired drivers. C. Accident reports will be accurate. Correct answer. A. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. 14. When you're not sure who has the right of way, the safest course of action is to A. Let the vehicle on the right have the right of way. B. Let whoever got there first have the right of way. C. Let the other driver have the right of way. Correct answer. C. Let the other driver have the right of way. Group 2. Vehicle Inspection and Maintenance 15. When you inspect your bus, make sure that A. Every handhold and railing is secure. B. Rider signaling devices are working. C. Emergency exit handles have been removed. Correct answer. B. Rider signaling devices are working. 16. Your bus is disabled with riders on board. The bus may be towed or pushed to a safe place only if A. Another bus with its four-way flashers on. B. A tow truck with a 27,000 GWR or larger. C. Getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. D. The distance is less than 500 yards. The correct answer is C. Getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. 17. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements. A. Riders are protected from falling or shifting packages. B. The driver can move freely and easily. C. Any rider can use all exits. D. All of the above. Correct answer. D. All of the above. 18. You should conduct a post-trip inspection. A. By walking through the bus and around the bus. B. By sleeping inside the bus. C. By doing and reporting results monthly. Correct answer. A. By walking through the bus and around the bus. 19. You should adjust all the outside left and right side crossover, cross view mirrors to see A. 200 ft behind the pad. B. The entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus. C. The right and left front tires touching the ground. Correct answer. C. The right and left front tires touching the ground. 20. A battery box check is important. The battery must be secure, connections must be tight, and cell caps must be present. In addition, these items should be checked. A. Battery connections should not show signs of excessive corrosion, and the battery box and cover should not be damaged and should be secure. B. The battery connection should show signs of excessive wear. C. The battery connection should not show signs of excessive corrosion, but the battery box and cover or door is important. Correct answer. A. Battery connections should not show signs of excessive corrosion, and the battery box and cover should not be damaged and should be secure. 21. The properly adjusted outside left and right side convex mirrors allow visibility in which area? A. The entire rear side tires touching the bus from the ground to the front and at least one traffic lane in front of the bus. B. The area directly in front of the bus. C. Front of the rear tires touching the ground, the entire side of the bus up to the mirror mounts, 
and at least one traffic lane on either side of the bus? Correct answer. C. Front of the rear tires touching the ground, the entire side of the bus up to the mirror mounts, and at least one traffic lane on either side of the bus. 22. All mirrors should be viewed in what manner? A. Simultaneously every four seconds. B. In a logical sequence to ensure that a child or object is not in any of the danger zones. C. In a logical sequence, checking traffic and passengers every five seconds. Correct answer. B. In a logical sequence to ensure that a child or object is not in any of the danger zones. 23. While driving a bus, how far ahead should you look? A. 3 to 6 seconds. B. 7 to 10 seconds. C. 12 to 15 seconds. Correct answer. C. 12 to 15 seconds. 24. Which of the following will confirm that you are driving with anti-lock brakes? A. A red indicator lamp on the brake cylinder. B. A yellow ABS malfunction lamp on the instrument panel will light when you start the engine. C. The certification on the driver's side door. The correct answer is B. A yellow ABS malfunction lamp on the instrument panel will light when you start the engine. 25. If you have riders aboard, you should never fuel your bus. A. Without a fire bottle beside you. B. In a closed building. C. Without attaching the ground cable. Correct answer. B. In a closed building. 26. Before you start to drive, make sure that carry-on baggage is not. A. In the aisles. B. On the passenger's laps. C. On the seats. Correct answer. A. In the aisles, 27 at the end of each shift, you should A. Inspect your bus. B. Report any defects. C. Take all your personal belongings. D. All of the above. Correct answer. D. All of the above. 28. Before you start to drive, you must inspect all of the following except A. The steering mechanism. B. The parking brake. C. The AM or FM radio. D. The windshield wipers. Correct answer. C. The AM or FM radio. 29. You are driving a 30-foot bus on a highway. The road is dry and visibility is good. The distance between you and the vehicle ahead should not be less than ECCC. How many seconds? A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. The correct answer is B. 4. D. Group. 3. Driving and maneuvering. 30. When approaching a stop within the corporate limits of a town or city, you should activate alternating flashing amber lights within how many feet before the stop? A. 200 to 300 FET, approximately 5 to 10 seconds or in accordance with state law. B. 400 eft, approximately 20 seconds. C. 500 eft, approximately 30 seconds. Correct answer. A. 200 to 300 eft, approximately 5 to 10 seconds, or in accordance with state law. 31. If there is no traffic light or attendant, stop for a drawbridge about how many feet from the draw? A. 25th. B. 55th. C. 108. Correct answer. B. 50th from the draw. 32. Shifting gears in a bus is not permitted when A. When you're driving down a hill, B. When you're crossing railroad tracks, C.
crossing a bridge? Correct answer. B. Crossing railroad tracks. 33. Never refuel your bus. A. With a higher grade of fuel. B. With any of the windows open. C. In a closed building with passengers on board. Correct answer. C. In a closed building with passengers on board. 34. Which of the statements about managing space to the sides of your bus is true? A. You should keep your bus to the right side of the lane. B. The position of buses is not affected by the wind. C. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Correct answer. C. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. 35. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline aboard your bus, you should A. Not allow the rider to do it. B. Tell the rider to sit in the rear of the bus. C. Collect an extra fare for this type of cargo. Correct answer. A. You should not allow the rider to do it. 36. It is best to wear your seatbelt. A. Unless you will not be driving over 35 mates meet. B. Only on sand, gravel, or ice-covered roads. C. At all times for safety. Correct answer. C. At all times for safety. 37. How many seats that are not securely fastened to the bus are allowed? A. 4. B. 2. C. 0. Correct answer. C. 0. 38. Which of these actions will result in the best control on curves? A. Break all the way through the curves. B. Slow to a safe speed before entering the curve and then accelerate slightly through the curves. C. Slow to a safe speed before entering the curves, then coast through them. Correct answer. B. Slow to a safe speed before entering the curve and then accelerate slightly through the curves. 39. When driving the bus across railroad tracks, you A. Do not have time to stop the bus and must slow down on tracks where crossing gate is in an upright position. B. May stop within 75 fifths of the tracks. C. Should never change gear on a bus with manual transmission. Correct answer. C. Should never change gear on a bus with manual transmission. 40. Which of the following statements about speed, management, and braking is true? A. Total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are applied. B. Stopping time increases by one second for each 10 mil EFEH over 20 mil mees. C. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 mil mees as at 20 t's. Correct answer. C. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 meters MPE as at 20 MPEs. 41. If you have a disruptive or drunk passenger on board, you have an option to do what? A. Drop the person off at the next scheduled stop. B. Follow your carrier's guidelines for dealing with unruly passengers. C. Drop the person off in a safe, well-lit public area where there are other people around. D. Do any of the above. Correct answer. D. Do any of the above. 42. Many buses have curved, convex, or spot mirrors. These mirrors? A. Are against the law in some states. B. Make things seem smaller and further than they really are. C. Do not need to be checked often because they show a larger area. 
The correct answer is B, make things seem smaller and further than they really are. 43. If your bus has an emergency exit door, it must A, be closed when operating the bus. B, always have a red door light on. C, be free to open for fresh air. Correct answer. A, be closed when operating the bus. 44. How many folding aisle seats are allowed in a bus that does not carry farm workers? A. 6. B. 4. C. 0. The correct answer is C. 0. 45. You should adjust all the outside left and right side flat mirrors to see A. 200 eft behind the bus. B. The rear, right, and left tires touching the ground. C. Both of the above. Correct answer. C. Both of the above. 46. You must stop your bus between. A. 15 to 50 feet before a railroad crossing. B. 5 to 10 feet before a railroad crossing. C. 20 to 25 feet before a railroad crossing. D. None of the above. Correct answer. A. 15 to 50 feet before a railroad crossing. 47. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural farm workers? A. 8, B, 4, C, 6, D, 0. Correct answer, D, 0. 48, when checking the handicap lift, the things you should look for are A, leaking, damaged, or has missing parts. Make sure the lift is 25% retracted and latched. B, leaking, damaged, or has missing wheelchairs. C. Leaking damaged or has missing parts, make sure the lift is fully operational and securely latched or locked in place. Correct answer. C. If it is leaking, damaged, or has missing parts, and make sure the lift is fully operational and securely latched or locked in place. 49. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? A. 25 B. 15 C. 20 Correct answer. B. 15 50 If you need to evacuate your bus in an emergency, passengers should be directed to a safe place, no less than feet from the bus. A. 74 feet B. 100 feet. Correct answer. B. 100 feet. 51. The blind spot behind the bus is extended to how many feet? A. 100 feet. B. 400 feet. C. 200 feet. Correct answer. B. 400 feet. 52. At a railroad crossing, the bus is required to stop at a stop line. If there is no clearly marked stop line, what is the maximum stopping distance? A. No closer than 15 feet and no further than 30 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. B. No closer than 10 feet and no further than 40 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. C. No closer than 15 feet and no further than 50 feet where you have the best view of the tracks. Correct answer. C. No closer than 15 ift and no further than 50 feet where you have the best view of the tracks. 53. When braking, a bus will have the most traction when A. The wheels are rolling just short of locking. B. The wheels are locked. C. The emergency brake is applied. Correct answer. A. 
the wheels are rolling just short of locking. Group 4. Passenger safety. 54. You are driving on a slippery road during the day. The driver's manual say how much space you should keep ahead of you. A. Add one second to the space needed in good road conditions. B. Allow one car length for every 10 it's deemed. C. Allow much more space than needed for ideal driving conditions. The correct answer is C. Allow much more space than needed for ideal driving conditions. 55. You do not have to stop, but you must slow down at A. A streetcar crossing. B. Railroad tracks marked as exempt or abandoned. C. When a policeman or flagman is directing traffic. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 56. You may sometimes haul small arms and ammunition or emergency hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of such hazardous material must not be more than A. 50 dollars. B. 5. C. 500 dollars. Correct answer. C. 500. 57. You work for a different state area. You must complete the after trip inspection that specifies A. Any problem that would affect safety or result in a breakdown. B. Distance, travel, and mileage. C. Any problem that occurs with riders. The correct answer is A. Any problem that would affect safety or result in a breakdown. 58. You are driving a 40 foot bus at 50 nave mph. The road is dry and visibility is good. You should keep a safety space in front of your bus that is at least A. 4 seconds. B. 5 seconds. C. 3 seconds. The correct answer is B. 5 seconds. 59. An oncoming vehicle keeps its high beams on. You should deal with this hazard by A. Turning your high beams on. B. Putting down your visors to block the beams. C. Blinking your trailer side lights. D. Looking to the right side of your lane. The correct answer is D. Looking to the right side of your lane. 60. Which of the following types of cargo can be carried on a bus? A. Small arms and ammunition labeled ORMD. B. Labeled radioactive materials. C. Explosives class 6. Correct answer. A. Small arms and ammunition labeled ORMD. 61. While the bus is underway, the emergency door A. Must be open. B. Should never be open. C. Can be open for fresh air. The correct answer is B. Should never be open. 62. The maximum distance you should stop away from the railroad crossing is A. 20 F. B. 50 fifth. C. 70 F. Correct answer. B. 50 F. Group 5. Emergency Procedures. 63. While driving a bus, you should A. Scan the interior of the bus as well as the road ahead, to the sides and the rear. B. Focus your attention immediately to the side of your bus. C. Scan the road 5 to 7 seconds ahead. Correct answer. A. Scan the interior of the bus as well as the road ahead, to the sides and the rear. 64. You're driving at night and you must dim your headlights from high to low. How should you adjust your speed? A. Slow down. B. Drop 5 in the pH until your eyes adjust. C. Nothing. How well you can see should not be affected. Correct answer. A. Slow down. 65. Buses have recapped or regrooved tires. A. Anywhere except the front wheels. B. On any or all of the wheels. C. Only on the outside duels. 
Correct answer, A. Anywhere except the front wheels, 66. Your bus is disabled. The bus with riders aboard may be towed or pushed to a safe spot to discharge passengers only if A. The distance is less than one mile. B. Getting off the bus sooner would be unsafe. C. A police officer or rescue crew is present. Correct answer. B. Getting off the bus sooner would be unsafe. 67. Can oxygen be carried on a bus by a passenger? A. Yes, with no restrictions. B. Yes, if special permission is received from DOT. C. Yes, if medically prescribed for and in the possession of the passenger. The correct answer is C. Yes, if medically prescribed for and in the possession of the passenger. 68. You're driving a 40-foot bus at 30 miles. The road is dry and visibility is good. You should keep a safety space in front of your bus that is at least de. How many seconds? A. Four seconds. B. Six seconds. C. Three seconds. Correct answer. A. Four seconds. 69. After deciding the type of evacuation that is necessary, the next step you must take is A. Securing the bus B. Dangle the radio microphone out of the driver's window for later use C. Notifying the dispatch officer of the evacuation Correct answer A. Securing the bus 70. The driver must make sure that all emergency exits are a. Emergency exit warning devices, if present, are working. B. All emergency exits are not damaged, operate smoothly, and close securely from the inside. C. All of the above. Correct answer. C. All of the above. 71. If the gate comes down as you start to cross the railroad highway crossing, you should. A. Set a backup until you're completely off the tracks. B. Stop immediately and call your dispatcher. C. Drive through the gate. Correct answer. C. Drive through the gate. 72. When you discharge an unruly rider, you should choose a place that is A. Near a police station. B. Isolated so they won't bother others. C. As safe as possible. Correct answer, C, as safe as possible. Group 6, Driving Techniques, 73. You should adjust all the outside, left and right side flat mirrors to see. A, 200 feet behind the bus. B, the rear, right and left tires touching the ground. C, both of the above. Correct answer. C. Both of the above. 74. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? A. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 minutes per day over 20 minutes B. B. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 minutes as at 20 minutes. C. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are out on. Correct answer. B. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 mmHz as at 20 mmHz. 75. Which of the following statements about the interior of the bus is false? A. Never drive with an open emergency exit door or window. B. If there is a red emergency door light, it must work. C. The seats must be safe for riders and securely fastened to the bus. Correct answer. B. If there is a red emergency door light, it must work. 76. You should activate hazard lights within approximately how many feet before railroad crossing? A. 300 F. B. 200 F. C. 40 F. 
Correct answer, B, 200F. 77. Which poor weather condition can cause the most dangerous driving? A, rain. B, snow. C, ice. D, hail. Correct answer, C, ice. 78. To certify corrected defects on your pre-trip inspection, you should A, sign the previous driver's report. B, skip the items. C, assume that the mechanics have handled these items. The correct answer is A, sign the previous driver's report. 79. In general, the best braking technique to use in maintaining a safe speed when driving on a downgrade is A. Fanning or pumping the brakes B. Using only the parking brakes C. Using the snub braking method The correct answer is C. Using the snub braking method 80. What should you do if you have lost the ABS control at one or more wheels? A. Drive faster so your ABS yellow malfunction lamp will go out. B. Call dispatch and report the problem. C. Drive normally because you still have regular brakes but have the system serviced soon. Correct answer. C. Drive normally because you still have regular brakes but have the system serviced soon. 81. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that A. Rider signaling devices are working. B. Every handhold and railing is secure. C. Emergency exit handles are secure. D. All of the above. Correct answer. D. All of the above. 82. When driving at more than 40 yards of scene near 8, what is the safe minimum following distance for ideal daytime conditions? A. One second for every 10 feet of the vehicle length, rounded upward. B. One second for 10 feet of the vehicle length, rounded upward plus one second. C. Four seconds. Correct answer. B. One second for 10 feet of the vehicle length, rounded upward plus one second. 83. Which of the statements about gear, ranges, and buses with automatic transmission is true? A. The highest range should always be used except when roads are slippery. B. The highest range should only be used with heavy loads. C. Lowest ranges should be used for greater engine braking on downgrades. The correct answer is C. Lowest ranges should be used for greater engine braking on downgrades. 84. Check that the entry door is not damaged and A. Operates smoothly and closes securely from a remote location. B. Operates smoothly and closes securely from the outside. C. Operates smoothly and closes securely from the inside. Correct answer. C. Operates smoothly and closes securely from the inside. 85. Anti-lock brakes. A. Keep your wheels from locking during hard brake application. B. Work only when you activate an in-cab switch. C. Shorten the stopping distance. The correct answer is A. Keep your wheels from locking during hard brake application. Group 7. Regulations and Legal Compliance 86. If you work as an interstate carrier, you must complete a written inspection report for each bus driver. A. True. B. False. Correct answer. A. True. 87. According to federal regulations, you must have a CDL with a passenger, P endorsement, to drive a bus that seats D or more people, including yourself. A. 16. B. 21. C. 32. D. 24. Correct answer. A. 16. 88. Commercial bus drivers must have a CDL if 
A. They drive a vehicle that is designed to carry more than nine passengers. B. They drive a vehicle that has a gross weight rating of more than 26,000 pounds. C. They drive a vehicle that is designed to carry more than 16 passengers, including the driver. Correct answer. C. They drive a vehicle that is designed to carry more than 16 passengers, including the driver. 89. The proper time to cancel your turn signal for lane change or turns is A. When the maneuver is complete. B. When you know that all other drivers have seen your signal. C. Just before starting the maneuver. The correct answer is A. When the maneuver is complete. 90. Which of these statements about bus evacuation is true? A. If time allows, back up to the stop before evacuating the bus. B. If time allows, notify the dispatcher about the visible location, conditions, and type of assistance needed. C. If time allows, walk through the bus and close all the windows. 91. The posted speed on a curve is A. Safe for cars in good weather. B. Safe for buses in good weather. C. Safe for cars and buses in bad weather. D. All of the above. Correct answer. A. Safe for cars in good weather. 92. While crossing railroad tracks, you should... If your bus has a manual transmission, A. Downshift. B. Upshift. C. Not shift gears. D. Coast in neutral. Correct answer. C. Not shift gears. 93. The standee line is A. A two inch line on the floor to the rear of the driver's seat. B. There is no such thing on a bus. C. A two inch line divides the aisle in half. The correct answer is A. A two inch line on the floor to the rear of the driver's seat is known as the standard line. 94. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of the drawbridge must you stop? A. 5 feet. B. 10 yards. C. 50 feet. The correct answer is C. 50 feet. 95. According to federal regulations, the minimum depth required for tire tread on steering axle tires is the boots of an inch. A. 232, B, 432, C, 632. Correct answer, B, 432. 96, what must be closed whenever the bus is in motion? A, the driver's window, B, the roof hatches, C, the sunroof, D, the emergency window, the correct answer is D. The emergency window must be closed whenever the bus is in motion. 97. A traffic light on a drawbridge is green. You should A. Stop and wait for the attendant's instructions. B. Slow down and make sure it's safe to proceed. C. Stop at least 100 feet before the draw of the bridge. The correct answer is B. Slow down and make sure it's safe to proceed. 98. The interlock system for the brake and accelerator on a transit coach may A. Replace the parking brake. B. Replace the rear door emergency buzzer. C. Act as a safety feature when the exit door is open. D. All of the above. Correct answer. D. All of the above. Group 8. Technical and Operational Procedures. During a pre-trip inspection, you should sign the previous driver's report only if A. No defects are listed on it. B. The defects listed on it have been certified as either repaired or not needing to be repaired. 
C. You know the previous driver personally and trust him or her. The correct answer is B. The defects listed on it have been certified as either repaired or not needing to be repaired. 100. If a sign underneath a cross buck sign indicates that there are two tracks, this means A. There are two single railroad tracks. B. There are two sets of railroad tracks. C. The road splits in two different directions. The correct answer is B. There are two sets of railroad tracks. 101. How should you brake in a bus with ABS brakes? A. Apply the brakes and back off the brakes prior to the full brake to stop. B. Pump the brakes in an emergency situation. C. Apply the brakes as usual. Correct answer. C. Apply the brakes as usual. 102. Can a bus carry 100 pounds of each class? 1. Class 3, Class 4, and Class 5 hazardous materials. A. Yes. B. No. C. Yes, but only at night. D. Yes, but only for a short distance. The correct answer is A. Yes. 103. All of the following should be in good working order before driving. Which item must be in good working order before the bus can leave? A. Destination sign. B. Service brakes. C. Restroom service. The correct answer is B. Service brakes. 104. You do not have to stop G, but you must slow down and check for other vehicles at A. A railroad crossing. B. A red light. C. A streetcar crossing. The correct answer is C. A streetcar crossing 105. Which of the following should the driver announce at each stop or destination? A. The location. B. The bus's next time of departure. C. The number of the bus. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 106. If you're performing your vehicle inspection test on a coach or transit bus, you will have to inspect the baggage compartments and make sure that the baggage compartment doors fit securely. A. Latch securely. B. Closed securely. C. Opened securely. The correct answer is A. Latch securely. 107. Which of the following statements is true? A. The posted speed limits on a highway, on ramps and off ramps are safe for both cars and buses. B. The posted speed limits are safe for all conditions. C. You must be able to stop within the distance that you can see ahead. D. All of the above are true. The correct answer is C. You must be able to stop within the distance that you can see ahead. 108. Federal regulations set an axle weight limit of alka nihis pounds on a tandem axle that is four feet apart. The requisite C put C B thirty two thousand pounds C thirty four thousand pounds. The correct answer is C thirty four thousand pounds. 109. Before leaving your stop, you should A. Wait for a sufficient gap in traffic. B. Assume that the driver will yield to you. C. Start to pull out as soon as you signal. The correct answer is A. Wait for a sufficient gap in traffic. 110. Bus accidents often happen. A. On roundabouts. B. In parking lots. C. At intersections. The correct answer is C, at intersections. 111. Why must you complete your inspection report? A, before your trip. B, at the end of your shift. C, only if you suspect a problem. D, when asked to prove it. The correct answer is B, at the end of your shift. 112. Charter bus drivers should. A. Have conversations with passengers. B. 
allow riders on the bus before departure time. C. Remind riders to take carry-ons with them whenever they get off the bus. D. Allow the riders to drink and smoke on the bus. The correct answer is C. Remind riders to take carry-ons with them whenever they get off the bus. 113. Off-tracking of the rear wheels is affected by A. Faster speed on turns and curves. B. Sharper turns and curves. C. Great distance between front and rear wheels. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Group 9. Communication and signaling. 114. If your bus becomes disabled on a freeway or expressway and you must stop, you should position the bus. A. In line with traffic against the furthest left wall divider or line. B. In line with traffic and centered between the left edge of the shoulder and the left edge of the traffic. C. At an angle to traffic with the front door facing the downstream side of the traffic. The correct answer is C at an angle to traffic with the front door facing the downstream side of the traffic. 115. The driver's seat should be adjusted. A. Only when the bus is at a stop. B. Only when the bus is moving at 36 mph or less. C. Whenever the driver finds it necessary while driving. The correct answer is A only when the bus is at a stop. 116, which of these forms of signaling is not recommended? A, signaling to other drivers that it is safe to pass your bus. B, using four-way flashers to warn of danger ahead. C, signaling to others that you will change lanes. D, all of the above. The correct answer is A, signaling to other drivers that it is safe to pass your bus. 117. At drawbridges with no signal, you must stop at least a. 15 to 20 feet before the draw of the bridge. b. 5 to 10 feet before the draw of the bridge. c. 20 to 25 feet before the draw of the bridge. d. 50 feet before the draw of the bridge. The correct answer is D, 50 feet before the draw of the bridge. 118. In general, standees on the bus are not permitted. A, to stand between the fixed seats. B, in front of the standee lines. C, within five feet of an emergency exit. The correct answer is B, in front of the standee line. 119. Rules require shippers to mark containers of hazardous materials with A, materials name, B, ID number and hazard laid, C, all of the above. The correct answer is C, all of the above, 120. The following are some situations that require special attention from all drivers. Which one is an even bigger problem for the driver of a vehicle with a low ground clearance. A. Backing on a level ground. B. Off tracking on sloped curves. C. Humps or dips in the road. The correct answer is C. Humps or dips in the road. 121. Which of the following is the best general rule for night driving? A. Drive slightly faster than the other traffic. B. Drive slightly slower than the other traffic. C. Increase the normal daytime following distance by one second. The correct answer is C. Increase the normal daytime following distance by one second. 122. A straight vehicle weighing 20,000 pounds, which hauls 20 passengers, falls into which CDL class? A. A class. B. B class. C. C class. The correct answer is C, C class. The group 10, passenger management 123, prohibited practices on a bus include A, fueling your bus with riders on board. B, 
talking with riders while driving, C, towing a disabled bus, D, all of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. 124. As the driver of a bus, how can you best avoid hindering other traffic on the highway? A. By passing only the slowest vehicles. B. By traveling in convoy packs with other heavy vehicles. C. By staying in the right-hand lane. The correct answer is C. By staying in the right-hand lane. 125. You must put a loaded bus into motion from a stopped position on a steep upgrade. Which of these is the best technique to follow when you have a bus with a manual transmission? A. Hold the foot brake until the clutch has been fully released. B. Accelerate hard and release the clutch quickly. C. Slowly release the clutch while releasing the parking brakes. The correct answer is C. Slowly release the clutch while releasing the parking brakes. 26. Which of these is a good rule for backing a straight bus? A. Back toward the side opposite the driver. B. Turn the steering wheel back of the vehicle to go. C. Use voice signals to communicate with a helper. D. None of the above. The correct answer is D. None of the above. 127. How should buses handle most railroad grade crossings? A. Come to a complete stop before crossing. B. Slow down and prepare to stop if a train is approaching. C. Turn the vehicle's flashes on before crossing. D. Tap the electric horn before crossing. The correct answer is A. Come to a complete stop before crossing. 128. Which of the following statements about hazardous materials are false? A. You can carry any hazardous materials on your bus as long as they are properly labeled. B. Buses may carry small ammunition labeled ORM. D. C. Shippers must mark each package of hazardous materials with the material's name, number, and hazard label. The correct answer is A. You can carry these materials on your bus as long as they are properly labeled. 129. To prevent theft and vandalism on a charter bus, you should A. Make frequent stops to check on the bus's interior. B. Collect all valuables from the passengers. C. Not allow riders on the bus until departure time. The correct answer is C. Not allow riders on the bus until departure time. 30. Due to the extreme size of bus, drivers must watch for A. Poles and wires. B. Clearance your bus needs. C. Gaps your bus needs to accelerate through. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 131. When do you sign post inspection reports? A. Before you start your trip. B. Only if repairs are needed. C. After it is certified that there are no repairs needed. The correct answer is C. After it is certified that there are no repairs needed. 132. Fin a pressurized cooling system. Coolant level should be checked. A. Only by a mechanic. B. Only while the engine is hot. C. Every 90 days. D. None of the answers are correct. The correct answer is D. None of the answers are correct. 133. Federal regulations do not allow a driver to drive if he or she is A. Ill or impaired, and the condition interferes with the ability to drive safely. B. Ill for longer than three hours. C. Taking medication of any kind. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. Ill or impaired, and the condition interferes with the ability to drive safely. 134. Which of the following statements about roof hatches is true? A. You may not leave the roof hatches open at any time. B. Always leave the roof hatches partly open. 
C. You can lock the roof hatches in a partly open position for fresh air. The correct answer is C. You can lock the roof hatches in a partially open position for fresh air. 135. A disruptive passenger, A, may be thrown out of the bus. B, should not be discharged where it would be unsafe for them. C, is not your responsibility. The correct answer is B, should not be discharged where it would be unsafe for them. 136. When it is carried on a bus, hazardous materials must be A, labeled. B, stored in the passenger compartment. C, all of the above. The correct answer is A, labeled. 137. You have passed all the requirements for a Class B bus driver's license. Which of these vehicles are you not licensed to drive? A. Class A bus. B. Class B bus. C. Class C bus. The correct answer is A. Class A bus. 138. Which seats must be equipped with a seat belt? A. The driver's seat. B. The side seats. C. None of the above. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A. The driver's seat must be equipped with a seat belt. Group 11 Mechanical Systems 139. Which of the following might be used at an active railroad highway crossing? A. Flashing red lights. B. Bells. C. Gates. The correct answer is C. Gates. Work 140. Before driving, who is responsible for checking the emergency equipment? A. The mechanic. B. The dispatcher. C. The driver. The correct answer is C. The driver. 141. When hauling hazardous materials on a bus, the total weight for any one type of substance cannot exceed. A. 100 pounds. B. 250 pounds. C. 500 pounds. The correct answer is A, 100 pounds. 142, what shape are hazardous material labels? A, square. B, rectangular. C, diamond shaped. The correct answer is C, diamond shaped. 143, which of the following should be avoided while operating a bus? A, don't talk to riders while driving. B. Don't tow or push a disabled bus with riders inside. C. Avoid fueling with riders on board. The correct answer is C. Avoid fueling with riders on board. 144. Urban mass transit coaches may have a brake and accelerator interlock system. The rear door of a transit bus has to be open to put on the parking brake. A true b false the correct answer is b false 145 when should you check your mirrors for lane change a right after starting the lane change b after completing the lane change c regularly as a part of your check for potential hazards correct answer c regularly as a part of your check for potential hazards. 146. If your bus starts to lean toward the outside on a banked curve, A. You're driving too slowly. B. The road is wet. C. You're driving too fast. Correct answer. C. You're driving too fast. Group 12. Other, 147, if you have to swerve to avoid an accident, you should know. A, where other vehicles around you. B, where your passengers are seated. C, if the emergency flashes are working properly, the correct answer is. A, where other vehicles around you are. 148, what shape are hazardous material labels? A, square. B, rectangular. C. Diamond shaped. The correct answer is C. Diamond shaped. 149. Which of the following should be avoided while operating a bus? A. 
don't talk to riders while driving. B. Don't tow or push a disabled bus with riders inside. C. Avoid fueling with riders on board. The correct answer is C. Avoid fueling with riders on board. 150. Urban mass transit coaches may have a brake and accelerator interlock system. The rear door of a transit bus has to be open to put on the parking brake. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. 151. If it is illegal to transport passengers if you have consumed an intoxicating beverage. A. Within two hours. B. Within eight hours. C. Within four hours. The correct answer is C. Within four hours. 152. Can looking ahead prevent accidents with cars going in the same direction? A. Yes, you can see changes in the traffic flow early enough to make adjustments. B. Yes, you can see objects that are far away better than those that are up close. C. Yes, you can see where passengers are waiting to be picked up. The correct answer is A. Yes, you can see changes in the traffic flow early enough to make adjustments. 153. Black on yellow road. Warning signs are placed. A. Ahead of a railroad crossing. B. At a railroad crossing. C. After a railroad crossing. The correct answer is A. Ahead of a railroad crossing. 154. Many highway railroad crossings have A. Flashing red lights. B. Bells. C. Both of the above. The correct answer is C. Both of the above. 155. Train whistles or horns. A. Can be heard at least a thousand ft away. B. Might not be audible until the train is dangerously close. C. Are normally blown after the train passes through a highway railroad crossing. The correct answer is B. Might not be audible until the train is dangerously close. 156. A full stop is required at highway railroad crossings when A. The nature of the cargo makes a stop. B. There is a stop sign at the crossing. The gates are down. C. Mandatory under state or federal regulations. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 157. If you're driving a low-slung unit and get stuck crossing railroad tracks, you should. A. Turn on your four-way emergency flashers. B. Get out of the truck. C. Get away from the truck. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 158. At a passive crossing, the decision to stop or proceed, A. Rests entirely in your hands. B is dictated by the traffic control device. C is controlled by GPS. D is based on your speed. The correct answer is A rests entirely in your hands. 159. From the stopped position, it takes a typical tractor trailer unit at least clear a single railroad track. A, 14 FET. B, 30 FT. C, 3 FT. The correct answer is A, 14 F, 160. Which of the following assists you in recognizing a passive highway railroad crossing? A, yellow circular advance warning signs. B, pavement markings. C, cross bucks. D, all of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. 161, you should never race a train to a crossing because A, it is extremely difficult to judge the speed of an approaching train. B. It is dangerous. C. Trains have no brakes. The correct answer is A. It is extremely difficult to judge the speed of an approaching train. 162. What signs mark a railroad highway crossing? A. Cross bucks. B. Stop. C. Yield. D. Caution. 
The correct answer is A, crossbars. 163, when crossing railroad tracks, you, A, shift only once, B, never shift, C, shift normally, D, downshift, but never upshift. The correct answer is B, never shift. 164, railroad highway grade crossings are a special kind of intersection where the roadway crosses, A, train tracks, B, a river, C, a state border, D, another highway. The correct answer is A, train tracks. 165, on two lane roads, pavement markings, warning of a railroad highway crossing consists of A, an X with letters RR and no passing marking. B, the letters RR and no passing marking. C, an X. The correct answer is A, an X with letters RR and no passing marking. 166. When the road crosses over more than one set of railroad tracks, a sign below the cross buck indicates A, the speed limit, B, who has the right of way, C, the number of tracks. The correct answer is C, the number of tracks. Option 167. Traffic control devices installed at the crossing to regulate traffic are found at A, active crossings, B, passive crossings, C, state borders. The correct answer is A, active crossings. 168. What color are advanced warning signs for highway railroad crossings? A, black on yellow, B, white on black, C, yellow on black. The correct answer is A, black on yellow. 169, do not have any type of traffic control device. A, passive crossings, B, active crossings, C, international borders, D, toll booths. The correct answer is A, passive crossings. 170, at a passive highway railroad crossing, you should A, increase speed. B. Maintain speed. C. Always downshift. D. Reduce speed. The correct answer is D. Reduce speed. 171. After starting the engine, it is not necessary to check A. The oil pressure gauge. B. The air pressure gauge. C. The engine oil temperature gauge. D. The fire extinguisher. The correct answer is D, the fire extinguisher. 172, which of the following should you check during a pre-trip inspection? A, service brakes, parking brakes, steering, lights, reflectors, tires. B, first aid kits. C, gas gauge. D, GPS. The correct answer is C, gas gauge.